hate when I'm wrong about things. I try not to be wrong about things, but in general, sometimes, you know what? People just get misinformation and they're wrong. And so I was wrong in my last video. To, uh, I'll put the card up there for the Evo, um, the audience Evo. I was wrong about how the export happens from an audio interface. So I want to try to articulate this the right way so that I get you the right information. So here in plain, simple language, your audio interface has no impact on the exporter rendering of your audio in your computer, right? So you make a track, it's in Ableton, you export it to an MP3 or a WAV file, it doesn't matter what audio interface you have. There is nothing in that audio interface that's doing anything on the export. It is all done on the chipset of your computer inside your computer, okay? I was given misinformation a long time ago that I've continued to believe because I never looked it up for myself that your audio interface does impact the quality of your export. Um, and I guess I've never really like listened back to back to see like, wow, is that really even true? Um, which is wrong of me. I have always used Mac computers and the quality has always seemed really good and no matter what audio interface I'm using. Um, but anyway, regardless, I just want to set that straight because I was wrong. So if you're somebody though, that you're actually, um, recording into your computer, so you're using the audio interface to record into your computer, there's definitely going to be an impact depending on what sound interface you use, what kind of audio converters and stuff it has going on in there, as well as mic preamps, which is what helps you when you're recording through a microphone in through your audio interface. So that's where you're going to see the big differences between each, each sound card or audio interface, but also you will see it when you listen. So that's another thing, right? When you're, if you're, you know, big into mastering and mixing and how you hear things that will change from one audio interface to another because it affects the sound of what you're hearing what is coming out of your speakers but i just wanted to make sure i set the record straight because i really believe that if i if i didn't have this right there are other people out there in the world that didn't have this right. And the last thing I want to do is continue to spread misinformation about something. So you got that. I'm telling you, it's all done on your chipset. It is not done in the audio interface. Exporting rendering, once you send it out to audio, your audio interface has no impact on that. Your computer's chipset is what does it. Thank you. For watching more videos to come it has been crazy like my three kids are home my one is out of daycare the two kids there's no school um, everyone in my company is working from home I'm trying to work full-time from home I'm trying to parent and I'm trying to like teach like homeschooling because the kids have stuff that they have to do there's assignments and things and um, for all you people out there they are not in the same position as me that have all this extra time at which you are stuck in your house and can't go out and can't do anything I hope you are using it wisely because I wish that I had that time to be making music, to be learning more, to be doing more. So take advantage of it, man. Don't sit on your couch and watch Netflix um, and just do like silly stuff that's like, like a time suck. Do, do quality stuff that's gonna make you um, better, at, at, better at what you do or what you wanna be. So just do it, do it, do it, do it. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna suck it up, make the best of the situation and hope that I actually survive. Take care, I'll see you next video.